Hey, what's up YouTube? Google have lately joined the game to target the mid-range smartphone category with their Pixel 4a to gain their profit margins back. Let's compare the Apple's iPhone SE and Google's Pixel 4a for this video. For this comparison video, we will look into the performance, camera, display, body, audio quality, battery life, OS, connectivity and durability. Let's start off with the performance of these phones. The Apple iPhone SE has got A13 Bionic chip which they previously used for the iPhone 11 series which is a great processor and has a 6 core and can clock up to 2.65 GHz which is their flagship grade processor. When it comes to the Google Pixel 4a, we don't see any kind of a flagship grade processor since Google have equipped Qualcomm's on Snapdragon 730 processor which has an 8 core and can clock up to 2.2 GHz. In this case, we see that the speed is much higher for the iPhone even though the iPhone has a 6 core. So that's one point for the iPhone in terms of performance. Next up, the camera. Here, the iPhone has a single lens camera with 12 megapixel with f1.8 aperture while the Google also equips a single lens 12.2 megapixel camera with f1.7 aperture and both the camera equips optical and electronic image stabilization. Seems like this is a very tight competition. Well here when we compare side by side, the pixel has a great detail to the pic and the fact that the night shot, portrait shots and astrophotography in the pixel is mind blowingly awesome. So the Pixel earned a point for its great image processing in terms of detail and portrait shots. When it comes to the front facing camera, the iPhone has a 7 megapixel f2.2 aperture on the front and Pixel has got 8 megapixel with f2.0 aperture. Here this is a different story. The iPhone makes a better pics than the Pixel even though the Pixel has a great detail, people normally don't like to show more detail of their faces for the Instagram and they wish to have a brighter pic. For instance, as you see, your eyes will really attract to the brighter pics and higher dynamic range which the Apple have done a great job which I think the iPhone earned a point for the front facing camera. Now let's take a look into the display. The display of the iPhone is 4.7 inch LCD display with 60Hz refresh rate while the Pixel have 5.8 inch OLED screen with Gorilla Glass 3 protection on it which seems better than the iPhone SE's display. Obviously, Pixel earned a point for their display because OLED have great picture quality than the LCD when it comes to display. Next up, the body of the phones. iPhone has got aluminum frame which gives a solid structure for the phones and feels very premium. While the Pixel 4a comes with a plastic body which doesn't give a premium feel. And the iPhone has an IP67 rated which means water and dust resistance up to 1 meter for 30 minutes while Pixel don't have any ratings like that. So the iPhone owned a point for the body. Next up, the audio quality. Here, both the phones equip stereo quality speakers. The iPhone has a dual firing speakers at the bottom, while the Pixel also has a dual firing speakers, one at the top of the phone and another at the bottom of the phone. Which I think the Pixel audio will be better than the iPhone. Since the audio of the Pixel is fired right on your face, this technique of placing speakers on the Pixel will be better while playing games and watching videos. So the Pixel earned a point for the audio quality. Battery life is a very essential one for the smartphone iPhone SE has packed 1642 mAh battery while the Pixel has got 314 mAh battery which obviously bigger than the iPhone SE and will last more than a day. When it comes to the charging standpoint, the iPhone has a fast charging capability but the fast charger adapter is sold separately for $29 while the Pixel has got fast charging capability and 18W fast charger comes with the box which keeps it under the budget. So it's clear that the Pixel will have a long battery life and fast charging than the iPhone SE. Next up, the OS. The iPhone runs on iOS 13 and Apple gives a constant update and importantly, the OS upgrades whenever they launch a new version of the iOS. When it comes to the Pixel, it runs on the pure Android 10 and Google also gave constant security updates and OS upgrades for the phone. So it's a hard job to decide between them. So when it comes to the OS, privacy matters a lot. Here, Apple is very secure about the user's data and user's activity. While Google uses the user's data and activity for personalized experience and even records the conversation with the Google Assistant. Which I don't feel good about the privacy when it comes to the Google. Have a look at this video by Engadget. Mr. Pakai, you became CEO in, of Google in 2015, is that correct? Uh, that's right. Okay, and this change was made in 2016, is that correct? 
Uh, that's my understanding. Okay, thank you for that. Did you sign off on this decision to combine the sets of data with Google, that Google had told Congress would be uh, kept separate? Con Congresswoman, any any changes we made? Uh, Ms. We Mr. Made, Mr. You know, Bukai, with all due respect, uh, please, did you sign off on the decision or not? I, I review the uh, at a high level all important decisions we make. We deeply care about privacy and security of our users. So you signed off on the decision. User consent for. Okay, okay, you signed off on the decision. Practically, this decision meant that your company would not combine all of would would now combine, for example, all of my data on Google, my search history, my location from Google Maps, information from my emails from Gmail, as well as my personal identity with the record of almost all of the websites I visited. That is absolutely staggering. Okay. So I vouch for the iPhone for the OS. Well, for the connectivity, both the phones doesn't equip 5G and both the phones equip Bluetooth 5.0 which connects seamless to your earbuds or AirPods. Then I consider the Wi-Fi bands. Interestingly, the iPhone SE has got Wi-Fi 6 band which is the new specification standard which promises to give better speeds and connectivity while the Pixel still sticks up with the 2.4 GHz band and 5 GHz band. So for this round, iPhone earned a point for the connectivity. Now for the final round, the durability. Here, the iPhone has got great body when compared to the Pixel's body. Since iPhone has an aluminum frame while the Pixel has a plastic body, on a free fall, the Pixel might tend to break while the iPhone may experience some dents on its body. So for the durability, iPhone earned a point. So it's clear that the iPhone wins this battle. So overall, my opinion is that both the phones are great and it's very hard to compare them both, especially with the camera and the OS. So both the company have did a pretty good job when it comes to the camera and I like that the Pixel has an audio jack. For Android users who tend to switch for Apple's ecosystem for less price, I would say the iPhone SE is a pretty decent phone to start off with your Apple ecosystem. So for the buying options, the iPhone SE has got three variants starting from $399 for 64 gigs up to $549 for 256 gigs and comes with red, white and black colors. And for the Pixel, the Google have only one variant with 6 gigs of RAM and 12 gigs of storage and comes with a one color option for $349. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Thank you for watching. Do leave a like, comment and I'll try to answer as much as possible and subscribe to have more videos like this.